this project starts, what, three years ago. This guy named Vinny calls, very educated boat talker, asking very educated questions about doing some kind of pilot house, wanting design information. Got off the phone, looked at one of the guys I worked with and said, that guy's fishing for information. He is a competitor. Don't answer calls from that guy. Four years ago, um, a few of my friends had ridden on Freeman boats, and I actually saw one, I saw a 33 Freeman uh, zooming around Charleston Harbor, and uh, they got my attention. Then I get a phone call from one of the guys in South Florida that said, you need to quit blowing this Vinny guy off. It's like, wow, who does he work for? Because he's gotta be a competitor. He knows way too much about boat building, about the marine industry, and he's got some mysterious boss that clearly doesn't exist. He goes, his boss is Jimmy Buffett. Answer the daggum phone call. You know, the last mango, the Rybovich we had, we had almost 6,000 hours on the engines. The boat was 15 years old. We're gonna repower it. We had our 33 Freeman pilot house that we did use while the last mango Rybovich was getting repowered. Because it was our only boat, we used it for everything. We went offshore, tuna fishing, giant fishing, everything. Jimmy really loved it. Realized that he was just, uh, you know, almost more comfortable in that boat than he was on the Rybovich in terms of a ride. And then the speed, we really got used to, you know, cruising at almost 40 miles an hour. So after the comforts of being in the pilot house, you know, Jimmy and I were talking just about Freeman boats in general. And Jimmy said, well, what if we did a 42 pilot house and, you know, added a little more creature comforts, get a little more speed and range because it's a bigger boat and a 42 ride night and day different than the 33. You don't understand the stuff that's going to take to come together. You've got to get with Yamaha, we've got to get Garmin, we've got to get JL. All these parts have got to come together, they've got to be perfect, and they got to happen very, very quickly. Building a boat in record time, we've got to involve every bit of our team, our best of our best. They're going to do it in short time. We are still running full production on everything else. Billy's racking his brain trying to make sure how we can do all this, maintain our quality, and do everything along the way. And he's like, okay, let's do it. I'm Sally Freeman, and uh, when we met uh, Jimmy Buffett, it was when he came to my house um, to talk about the build for his awesome new Freeman Last Mango. What was so great is that he bought a boat from us when he could have bought one from anyone in the whole wide world, and he chose a Freeman. That's pretty darn cool. Probably the highlight of the build, though, was so many people poured so much into it. And Jimmy flies in and comes to meet everybody at the plant and was really, really cool experience. Signed sweatshirts and cell phones and hung out with everybody. It kind of shows the common touch he has, and that was fun. It was an enjoyable day. Jimmy Buffett came to us about a project. Uh, I wasn't too keen on the idea, but between Vinny and Jimmy, there's always a certain amount of arm twisting that goes on, if you know what I mean. When you're a builder, you like doing different things, and I guess that's what interests me, so we agreed to do it. Jimmy went ahead and purchased the boat, came down to us, and um, we did the design on the house and what was gonna go in it. We mocked it up, and we built it. My name is James Schaefer. I'm a uh, boat builder here at Merritt. For Freeman and Merritt to come together on something like this is definitely unique and one of a kind. You're not going to see something else like that. This was a great build. It's a one-off build. It was one of the projects that brought a lot of the guys together to show the quality of craftsmanship and trades. Uh, from your carpenters, to your painters, to your electricians, to your mechanics. Well, this was a fun project. Being able to work with Vinny and Merritt on this together, you know. We designed, pipe welders designed the tower. One of a kind. Um, always great to be one of a kind and fun to work with these guys. You're going to see something like this out there and people are going to go, well, we need to be doing something different because our stuff doesn't look like that. You can see all the momentum and the attention this project's getting. It's because of all the people involved. You know, it's the best of the best in the industry. And when the best of the best get together and do anything, everybody wants to see the incredible outcome. Joey, what's up? Oh, 
who you work with. I took an idea and a dream of Jimmy's and was fortunate enough to have him believe in me enough to carry out his vision. Through carrying out his vision, we've had so many people willing to be right there for me to help me make sure that I succeed. I don't think you can get any better than that. <laughs> 